Yep. Go for it. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Marin Municipal Water District. Uh, we are very close to the trailhead here, and um, I'm here at our first landmark, Pets on Leash Only, and we have a pet here on a leash only. Um, and I'm standing next to our first two plants, so, um, but I will, we'll just do one of them first. The first plant of the day is Quercus dorata and the Phagaceae. And its common name is Leather Oak. Um, Quercus dorata is called Leather Oak because it has very leathery leaves, very thick coriaceous leaves. Um, <clears throat> it's an evergreen. And it's in the white oak group. So it has that same matte, bluish green uh, underside of the leaf that we saw last week um, with the blue oaks and um, the valley oaks. So it's a relative of the blue oak and the valley oak. But um, remember those two species um, were deciduous and this one is evergreen. Um, <clears throat> another characteristic of leather oak, which um, hopefully won't be too confusing for you, is that it's got kind of cupped leaves that are rolled over and um, sharp uh, bristle tip margins, kind of reminding you maybe of Quercus agrifolia. But remember, Quercus agrifolia has got a glossy green <clears throat> underside, whereas this one is matte and kind of bluish green, kind of whitish, pale color. Um, Quercus dorata is a shrub, never a large tree. Um, sometimes it um, will hybridize with um, some other um, tree oaks, and you can, you can see uh, leather oaks that are kind of more like this tall and kind of tree-like, but they'll never be, you know, like a 20-foot tall or 30-foot tall tree even. Generally, you find them like this, as a mounding shrub. Um, this one has acorns, a few of them, and I'm going to... Uh, point out um, something on the acorn cap that I told you about when we learned, um, I can't remember if it was uh, Douglasii or Lobata, but white oak acorns have these not warty protuberances on them. So that is a good character for the white oak group. And this is our third white oak, right? We've learned Douglasii, Lobata, and now Durata. Um, Quercus Durata lives in um, habitats that are really nutrient poor. So you find it in serpentine um, areas like we are now, um, but sometimes you also find them in, um, in other areas with uh, just other nutrient poor soils. So um, they are slow growers, they tolerate um, drought and, um, and nutrient stress really well. So I think that's everything we need to know about Quercus dorata. It's a cool plant, it's endemic to California. Um, and yeah, it's our first evergreen white oak um, and first shrub, shrub oak, I think that we're learning, they often call them scrub oaks. Um, so Quercus dorata, just to sum up, has rolled over leaves. Um, you can imagine them like little boats floating along. Um, they are pale bluish green with matte on the underside um, and have <clears throat> usually have some kind of uh, sharp serrations or spiky um, leaf margin. A shrub, like I said, um, with evergreen leaves, thick evergreen leaves. So Quercus dorata, cool plant. 